Oh, God, the leg behind me looks horrible. How do we switch that? Got like a sweet little to-do thing. Oh, look at the paintings. All right, so this morning waking up and it's been roughly 16 hours into this dry fast now and uh, feeling great, feeling great. I'm gonna go outside here in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm gonna go outside and enjoy a little bit of a um, mock-up sauna because <laughs> every sauna I know of is closed and I don't own a sauna, so let's do this. Let's put on a sweater, do some laps on my porch. Ready? Good morning. Okay, pull-ups are done. Sweet. Got my sweater over here, getting ready. Got the shorts. Unfortunately, I don't have sweatpants on, no big deal. And I've got the science documentary all set up. Let's do this, out to the sauna. So you wanna do some snake diet, dry fasting, sauna work. Oh, oh. Okay, I'll show you what I do. So as you can see, I've got the sweater on. Normally I have uh, something playing in my ears because it's, it's nice, you know, you have a little favorite music or documentary you're going. Oh, I gotta listen to, excuse me. So, finished my first hour just out here. A nice little porch, nice little 10 pound dumbbell you can walk around with, press up over your head, do uh, lateral raises with, or a thousand bicep curls. A thousand, I don't know if you heard, but I just did a thousand. <laughs> and this is it, you just walk. So I don't have a sauna. I can't go sit in it. It's not quite the right temperature in here. Most saunas are about 80 degrees Celsius, which is, is roughly what, 176 Fahrenheit? Uh, yeah, I, I don't have that. And I, uh, that's not really my goal when, when I'm fasting and I want a sauna. I want it to be a little cooler so I can stay in it longer, okay? The first time I'm, I'm doing this, um, let's say like the first session, then I'll usually do it for about 40 minutes to an hour. Just pace on your porch, wearing your sweater in the heat. This is Phoenix, Arizona. Ooh, look at that beautiful view. What a wonderful apartment complex. <laughs> so right now it's about 100 degrees probably. It's a, it's a really cloudy day, if you couldn't tell. It might be over 100, but who's counting? So put on your sweater, go for a walk, repeat. I like a step counter of some kind, a pedometer, isn't that what they call it? Uh, try to get to 10,000 every day, regardless of what you're doing. But get your 10,000 in while you aren't drinking water, while you aren't eating, while you're outside in your simulated sauna. Ooh. But uh, be smart about it because A, not drinking water is, is um, not always the smartest thing to do. And B, dehydration is very possible while you're in a sauna. You could pass out, you could die. You don't want that, okay? I'm not recommending this without talking to your doctor first. <sighs> you do you. In the meantime, I'm going to keep sweating, keep listening to whatever it is I'm listening to. Finished up this talk about uh, physics and symmetry and how symmetry might be leading physics astray. So we have this idea where things need to be beautiful, need to be symmetrical, need to be pretty in the mathematics of it. And it might be sending physics down the wrong route. Like we might be barking up the wrong tree because we want that symmetry to work so much. It was a good talk. Uh, yeah. So I think now I'll probably uh, listen to music and go inward. Think about what's on my mind. <laughs> think about my thoughts. So, uh, I like physically exerting myself and getting to a place where your, your introspection goes way up because of that physical exertion. So. In this case, I'm very thirsty, I'm sweating. It's hot out. I'm still walking. I'm at like 5,000 steps. I was walking slow for that first hour. And so I've got a little ways to go before I drink anything. Wasn't planning on eating all day. Probably still won't. Uh, my wife is gone for a few days with some, some family health stuff. So she's over there showing support. 
I couldn't get the week off of work, so here I am. And I figured let's use this time to increase my self-discipline because I feel sloppy. I feel loose. I need to need to be a little more disciplined. So here I am showing discipline in one of the best ways I know how with diet and exercise, challenging myself. <sighs> I haven't done a dry fast in over a year. And here I am, I'm on hour. Okay, I'm gonna lie to you right now because I don't have my tracker in front of me. I checked it roughly two hours ago and it was at 17 hours. So I'll get a screenshot for you, post it up here. But uh, feeling good, surprisingly easy when you put your mind to it. And as much as I love my wife, it's it's interesting to see how how much easier it is to be influenced by anyone really, but by her. I come home, there's food, there's water, there's all these things. So if I if I were to not eat or drink something or decide to, hey, I'm gonna fast for the next six hours, just for example, it might not be possible when you come home and just like, I made you your favorite chocolate milk. <laughs> You've had a long day at work and you're just not on the most disciplined cycle of life. You're gonna have that chocolate milk. And I feel like that's where I've been. It's like every day I make an excuse. Like I can, I can have this thing or I can break uh, whatever goal it was that I was setting. I made 19 of the 24 hours, whatever it is. Okay, and it's not her fault for this. I'm not saying that at all, at all. It's all on me. I'm the weak-minded one who's influenced by others, I, which I also think is human. I'm not trying to beat myself up. I just, it's my choice to do whatever I want. And so I'm making those choices. If I feel sloppy, it's because of me. Kind of rambling now, and I, I'm parched. So I'm gonna put the phone down here in a minute, but you get the idea. This is how to do it. Just go for a walk, spend some time with yourself, or with a science TED talk kind of thing, whatever you want. And that'll do the job. If you get lightheaded, go inside. If you feel really under the weather, drink some water, go take a shower. Eat some food. Don't kill yourself. Come on, people. Be smart about this. Whew. But if you want a little bit of a challenge, you want to see what you're capable of, you want to kick into some really hardcore autophagy and clean up your body. I mean, dry fasting is a very strong way to go. Oh, wow. That, uh, oh, <laughs> none of my business. Okay. Talk to you later. Okay, so feeling a little tuckered out, had a nice phone call with the wife, and I'm still not at my 10,000 steps. So I'm inside the house, I'm walking in circles. Cause of that tuckered out thing. I want water. <laughs> I feel whiny. And, uh, my mouth is still wet. I've got plenty of saliva. My eyes don't feel dried up at all. I mean, I'm not like I've ever felt that way on fast or dry fast or anything like that. I'm just a little irritable. Is what it is. So let's finish these 10,000 steps. I'll have some liquid at some point. And uh, why would I say it like that? Why liquid? Why not just water? It's just gonna be water. There's no like special liquid that I've got in the house. I've got milk, but not hungry. That's another nice side effect, I guess, when you're either full or in ketosis or fasting for long periods of time in ketosis. Uh, you don't really get hungry. That's nice. That's a good feeling. What up, Vegeta? Uh, my brother gave me that for a, uh, was it birthday or Christmas? I don't remember. A few years back, I've just always kept it. It's cute. It's a little, uh, little figurine. Reminds me of the, the body image goals that I might have. <laughs> That's all I got right now. I'm gonna finish these laps and 
maybe make a more productive video in the near future. But here we go, walking in circles. Woo! Okay, and now with the lights low, the 10,000 steps are done. It's time to go drink some liquid. It's time, I said it again. It's time to go drink some water and get on with my day. Um, what will I do today? Probably end up editing this video. Oh, and I'm trying to be more Zen today, trying to accept the fact that everything isn't accomplished in this exact moment. I have the curse of the Western mind today. Everything always in motion. Ambition burns in my belly like, like a coal in my hand. Is how I was describing it to a friend. It's, it's like holding a hot coal in your hand when you have ambition without action. And so today, my goal is to get closer to that serene Zen center, if you will. Take the Sunday easy. There's no caffeine today. There's no, there's nothing drank at all up to this point. There's no food. There's no screens in front of me, which is really nice. I listened to that talk earlier, but that was just in my ears. I've been walking in silence these past, uh, what, 2,000 steps? And just trying to calm my mind because everything at work has been very busy. There's no time for side project stuff. What are you talking about? You're gonna come home and do a few hours of web development or you're gonna to apply to some more jobs or what What do you mean? You're gonna come home, you're gonna see your wife for a little bit, you're both gonna to go to sleep. That's gonna be your day. You can go back to work and work another 10, 12 hour shift because things are crazy getting kids set up for remote learning, which is fine. I'm very blessed I have a job, great. that part of my brain that just wants to do everything, wants to accomplish everything. I want to be in this place, this specific place right now in my life. Okay, that's a great goal. You'll get to that place, but you're gonna set a plan out, you're gonna work towards it every day, and you'll be there eventually. You can't, you can't just expect that of yourself immediately or beat yourself up because the last week you didn't take any steps to get closer to it. Or it wasn't like, it wasn't like last week when you weren't taking steps to get closer to your goals, you were what? Just playing video games? Like what video games? <laughs> There's no time for that. There's work and sleep and work. And that makes Jack a dull boy. But uh, the coming weeks will be a little bit better. Schools will be set up a bit more. I'll hear back from some of these places I have applied to. We'll see if my career will transfer in other places. Maybe I'll get to developing a few more websites in a, a more productive way to move closer to that web development career. But uh, finding that Zen place where I can accept where I'm at and not be holding that hot coal of ambition and said, congratulate myself on the things I have done. Instead, be at peace where my life is because it's a good place where I'm at. It really is. It really is. Life is good. Thank you for watching today. I'll expand more on this if you want. Otherwise, be careful when you're doing your fasting. Be careful. Take care of yourself. And I hope you're well, wherever you're at. I hope whatever's going on in your life, you're doing well, you're feeling well, you're taking care of yourself. <sighs> Have a good night. And just like that, I washed dishes and I had a little bit of the... Uh, the vinegar-like juice that comes with sauerkraut, and I feel immediately better. I'm more focused, my mind is, is a lot sharper. Uh, don't do a dry fast unless you have the day off. Keep that in mind. Okay, talk to you later, bye.